which part of the ear collects sound waves? Your options are cochlea, eardrum, ear canal or auditory nerve. The correct answer is C that is ear canal. The ear canal also known as the external auditory canal that collects sound waves and directs them towards the eardrum. Question number 2. Which structure vibrates in response to sound waves? Your options are cochlea, eardrum, auditory nerve or oval window. The correct answer is B that is eardrum. The eardrum also called as the tympanic membrane vibrates when struck by sound waves transmitting these vibration to the middle ear. Question number 3. What is the function of the cochlea? Your options are balance, sound transmission, smell perception or taste perception. The correct answer is B that is sound transmission. The cochlea is responsible for converting sound vibrations into electrical signals that can be interpreted by the brain. Question number 4. Which part of the ear is involved in maintaining balance? Your options are cochlea, semicircular canals, eardrum, or auditory nerve. The correct answer is B that is semicircular canals. The semicircular canals are fluid filled structures that detect changes in head position and rotational moments, helping to maintain balance. Question number fifth What connects the middle ear to the throat and helps equalize pressure? Your options are Strachian tube, oval window, round window or cochlear duct. The correct answer is A that is Strachian tube. The Strachian tube connects the middle ear to the throat allowing air pressure to equalize on both sides of the eardrum. Dear friends, welcome back to Dear Competitive Exam YouTube channel. Today, you are attending third most repeated and most important question answer session based on human ear so get ready to challenge yourself and friends if this video is helping you then make sure to hit that subscribe button below your support means world to us so don't miss out hit subscribe now and let's keep the journey going together question number six which part of the ear contains the sensory cells responsible for hearing your options are cochlea, semicircular canals, auditory nerve, or vestibule. The correct answer is A that is cochlea. Cochlea contains hair cells that convert sound vibration into electrical signals, which are then transmitted to the brain via auditory nerve. Question number 7 What is the purpose of the auditory nerve? Your options are balance, smell perception, taste perception or hearing. The correct answer is D that is hearing. The auditory nerve carries electrical signals from the cochlea to the brain where they are interpreted as sound. Question number 8. Which part of the ear amplifies sound vibrations? Your options are ossicles, cochlea, tympanic membrane or strachian tube? The correct answer is A that is ossicles. The ossicle consisting of the malleus, incus and stapus amplify sound vibration as they transmit them from the eardrum to the inner ear. Question number 9. What is the function of the round window? Your options are equalize pressure, transmit sound vibrations, amplify sound waves or protect the inner ear. The correct answer is A that is equalize pressure. 
the round window allows for the movement of fluid within the cochlea helping to equalize pressure in the inner ear question number 10 what happens when sound waves strike the eardrum your options are electrical signals are generated vibrations are transmitted to the cochlea hair cells are stimulated or balance is maintained the correct answer is cochlea b that is vibrations are transmitted to the cochlea when sound waves strike the eardrum it vibrates and transmits these vibration to the cochlea via the ossicles question number 11 dear friends there is one more announcement dear friends as per your suggestions we have started a new youtube channel where we are conducting exam or assessments based on science topics i'm sure that those videos will help you a lot to prepare for upcoming science or medical even neat exams where we help you to gain knowledge and confidence attending plenty quizzes based on science and neat exams if you really want to know how confident you are in the science and medical exams then please visit and attend the test over there and the link of the channel has been given in the description question number 11 what part of the ear helps in localization of sound your options are cochlea semicircular canals pinna or auditory nerve the correct answer is c that is pinna the pinna or outer ear helps to localizing sound by capturing and funneling sound waves into the ear canal question number 12 which part of the ear converts sound waves into mechanical vibrations your options are cochlea pinna oval window or tympanic membrane the correct answer is d that is tympanic membrane the tympanic membrane or eardrum converts sound waves into mechanical vibration that are transmitted to the inner ear question number 13 what causes the sensation of hearing your options are movement of fluid in the cochlea stimulation of hair cells in the semicircular canals activation of taste receptors in the tongue or activation of auditory nerve fibers the correct answer is d that is activation of auditory nerve fibers the sensation of hearing occurs when auditory nerve fibers transmit electrical signal from the cochlea to the brain question number 14 which structure separates the middle ear from the inner ear your options are cochlea oval window round window or stapes the correct answer is b that is oval window the oval window separates the middle ear from the inner ear and serves as the point of transmission for sound vibration into the cochlea question number 15 what is the function of the cochlear duct your options are equalize pressure amplify sound waves transmit sound vibrations or convert sound vibration into electrical signals the correct answer is d that is convert sound vibration into electrical signals the cochlea contains the organ of corti which contains hair cells responsible for converting sound vibration into electrical signals question number 16 what part of the ear helps to protect the delicate structures of the inner ear your options are pinna cochlea stachian tube or tympanic membrane the correct answer is a that is pinna the pinna helps to protect the delicate structure of the inner ear by directing sound waves into the ear canals question number 17 which part of the ear is responsible for detecting changes in head position your options are cochlea semicircular canals oval window or tympanic membrane the correct answer is b that is semicircular canals 
The semicircular canals detect changes in head position and rotational movements, aiding in balance and spatial orientation. Question number 18. What is the role of the vestibule in the inner ear? The options are sound transmission, balance and equilibrium, equalization of pressure or protection of delicate structures. The correct answer is B that is balance and equilibrium. The vestibule contains sensory organs that detect changes in head position and contribute to balance and equilibrium. Question number 19. Which part of the ear is primarily involved in transmitting sound vibrations? Your options are cochlea, oval window, round window or striatian tube. The correct answer is B that is oval window. The oval window transmits sound vibration from the middle ear to the fluid filled cochlea in the inner ear. Question number 20. What structure connects the three ossicles in the middle ear? The options are round window, oval window, tympanic membrane or incus. The correct answer is D that is incus. Incus is one of the three ossicles in the middle ear and connects the malleus, the hammer to the stapus. Question number 21. Dear friends, there is one more announcement. Dear friends, as per your suggestions, we have started a new YouTube channel where we are conducting exam or assessments based on science topics. I am sure that those videos will help you a lot to prepare for upcoming science or medical even NEET exams where we help you to gain knowledge and confidence attending plenty quizzes based on science and NEET exams. If you really want to know how confident you are in the science and medical exams, then please visit and attend the test over there. And the link of the channel has been given in the description. Which part of the ear is responsible for detecting high frequency sounds? The options are cochlea, basilar membrane, semicircular canals or vestibule. The correct answer is B that is basilar membrane. The basilar membrane in the cochlea is responsible for detecting high frequency sound due to its varying stiffness along its length. Question number 22. Which part of the ear is involved in the transmission of sound vibration from the outer to the inner ear? The options are pinna, eardrum, cochlea, or oval window. The correct answer is D that is oval window. The oval window serves as the point of transmission for sound vibrations from the middle ear to the inner ear. Question number 23. What is the primary function of the outer ear? Your options are amplify sound vibrations, convert sound waves into electrical signals, protect delicate structures or equalize pressure? The correct answer is C that is protect delicate structures. The outer ear including the pinna and ear canal helps to protect the delicate structures of the middle and inner ear. Question number 24. Which structure separates the middle ear from the outer ear? Your options are Tympanic membrane, cochlea, oval window or incus. The correct answer is A that is tympanic membrane. The tympanic membrane also known as the eardrum separates the middle ear from the outer ear and vibrates in response to the sound waves. Question number 25th. What causes the sensation of balance and sp spatial orientation? The options are moment of fluid in the cochlea, activation of hair cells in the semicircular canals, stimulation of auditory nerve fibers or activation of taste receptors in the tongue. The correct answer is B that is activation of hair cells in the semicircular canals. 
The semicircular canals contain hair cells that detect movement of fluid, providing information about the balance and spatial orientation. Question number 26. Which part of the ear is responsible for converting sound vibration into mechanical moments? Your options are cochlea, semicircular canals, tympanic membrane, or pinna. The correct answer is A, that is cochlea. The cochlea contains hair cells that converts sound vibration into mechanical movements, which are then transmitted to the brain as auditory signals. Question number 27. What is the function of this tapus? Your options are amplify sound vibrations, equalize pressure, protect the inner ear, or transmit sound vibration to the cochlea. The correct answer is D that is transmit sound vibration to the cochlea. The stapus, also known as the stirrup, transmits sound vibration from the middle ear to the cochlea in the inner ear. Question number 28. Which structure is responsible for protecting the delicate sensory cells in the cochlea? The options are tympanic membrane, oval window, round window or basilar membrane. The correct answer is C that is a round window. The round window is a membrane covered opening in the cochlea that allows for the movement of fluid protecting the delicate sensory cells within. Question number 29. What part of the ear is involved in the transmission of sound vibrations from the eardrum to the inner ear? Your options are cochlea, oval window, semicircular canals, or tympanic membrane. The correct answer is B that is oval window. The oval window serves as the interface between the middle ear and the inner ear, transmitting sound vibration from the eardrum to the cochlea. Question number 30. What structure helps in amplifying sound waves as they enter the ear? Your options are pinna, tympanic membrane, stretching tube, or oval window? The correct answer is A that is pinna. The pinna or outer ear helps in amplifying sound waves by directing them into the ear canal. Friends, it is a time to comment your score and friends, thanks for joining us on this exciting journey. Dear friends, there is one more announcement. Dear friends, as per your suggestions, we have started a new YouTube channel where we are conducting exam or assessments based on science topics. I am sure that those videos will help you a lot to prepare for upcoming science or medical even NEET exams where we help you to gain knowledge and confidence attending plenty quizzes based on science and NEET exams. If you really want to know how confident you are in the science and medical exams, then please visit and attend the test over there. And the link of the channel has been given in the description. If you enjoyed the quiz and learned something new, then give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our upcoming exploration of fascinating topics in the medical field. Until the next time, stay curious, stay healthy. See you. Take care.